Oh, Dr. Gold, hey! Oh, look, it's Grim. You little troublemaker, Grim, dude. Making trouble this morning. Oh my god, this guy boxed me up. Oh god, no. Kid is being retarded right now. Kid is being retarded. No, retarded. don't use that word. Then what word do I use? Can I not use any insult anymore? I stopped, I stopped using gay as an insult. I stopped using everything. I Good, I'm glad, yeah. No, yeah. Actually, you should really need to use insults in life, dude. You don't really need to use insults. What's up, Philip? You saying uh, some stuff? That's up, Philip. What's up, Philip? Like, like I, I, I was nice to so I was nice to you guys today too. Yeah, you're, you're you're getting better. You're getting better, Grim. You're getting better. What we learned today in chemistry? What did you learn, Philip? What did you learn in chem? Significant figures. Ooh, sig figs. No, they're a bit confusing, a little bit. Cool. Because there's like two different rules with like adding, subtracting, and multiplying, and dividing. Oh, okay. Nothing too bad though. I'm like, hi, and he's like, no, I'm you. And I'm like, okay. So, all right, all right, Grim, Grim, Grim. It's okay, it's okay. We can talk about the drama later. Yo, what's up, H Cult 360? I don't think I've seen you before. What's up, H Cult? Mr. Panda, I remember you from last oh, stream. Oh, finally started. I was wondering when it was. Mega, start. Mega. It starts at four, dude. It started two minutes ago. It's been up, dude. All right. Uh, what's up, Mega Max, dude? What's up? What's up, man? Yeah. So. And then we started doing. Uh, phase phase changes. changes. Ooh, phase changes. That's another big one. Where do you get the B coin? Where do you get Where the bond get coins? Ah, you got to buy them now. So here's what we're doing. So we're moving. So a lot of y'all have been like, I want more bond coins. I want to get more bond coins. I'm like, cool, sure. Yeah, you can get more bond coins. Um, so you what can't, happened? you can't. I, I, I was distracted with your um, Twitch version of you. Yeah, but okay. So no longer. So yeah, see the bot is going to, if we don't, we can't, we still get one point. So you need to get 1K channel points is how it works. So. Are you not there? Well, I mean, it is fair because I'm gonna be streaming five five days a week now or four days a week. So yeah, but like just redeemed one. Days. There yeah, you go. Look, look, like look. Philip. Days. Philip just redeemed one. Yeah, see, there you go. Nice job, Philip, dude. I don't have much channel points right now. Okay, well then, days. do you know how? All right. So for those that are wondering how you get channel, this is just to make my life easier, honestly, because I can't go through checking all the fucking attendances and stuff. Like, especially if I'm doing this four days a week to try and help you guys. Like, it's it's too much time. I only have so much time in my life, <laughs> and I would like I would like to. Uh, I would like to spend more of that time helping you guys than like going through a bot trying to figure out like who I own. Like, I, I, I would like to spend and for you to spend more of that time playing video games for us. Sure, I can also spend more time playing video games with you guys. But okay, so that's more time for you. Bro, for Peter just hit around the corner. What a bot. Okay, all right, all right, Grim, Grim, Grim. Keep the keep the video game to talk to to them so I can. So the whole point of this of this of this new system and whatnot is I want to re reward you guys for watching the stream. Um, and I also want, um, so actually you can actually get more than one bond coin now per stream just from watching because you get a bonus if it's like your second or third consecutive stream. I think they give you like 400 channel points just for showing up to like consecutive ones. You can get a streak. Um, why didn't I get my 400 bond coins? I got, I have, I have Twitch. I was, I, I, so I here's another thing, Grim, 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 come, come. So another thing that helps you guys get more channel points to get more bond coins is if you're a subscriber. So Grim, you are a subscriber to my channel. Thank you. I thank you. Thank you for the support. You're welcome. Um, you're welcome. Uh, so is Philip. Philip is a is a subscriber. So if you're a subscriber to the Twitch, you also redeem channel points twenty percent quicker. And I think if you get up to like a tier three sub or something, it's like twice as fast. So there's um. There's more. I, it, it's a better way for me to structure the the whole rewards, um, and it rewards you guys for showing up more often, and also allows me to spend more time teaching you guys than having to do this every other couple of days, and then trying to go through figuring out who is attendance or whatnot. Like now, now the bot will just take care of it. How do you get, what's the quickest way to get bank points? Uh, to, okay, so here's another another way. I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you guys to ask questions. So also. Um, you can still get one bond coin for just asking a question. So if you show up to the stream and you ask a question, you're guaranteed to get one just right off the bat. Oh, yeah. I, if you I watch, if you watch the stream for enough time, you can even just leave it open. I think you can leave it open in the background if you really don't want to like participate. But you also get more channel points if you participate because I think if you guys notice at the bottom right, there's a thing that says "click here for a bonus." Right? Do you guys ever see that? Yeah, I use it all yeah. the time. Good. Yeah. So if you're active you on, if you're active on the. Yeah, I'm sure. Grim. How do you think I give you a bunch of hydrates? Yeah, thank you. I appreciate the hydrates. I appreciate being able to drink water. But so yeah, if if you guys 
are active on the Twitch and you click the button, you also get more channel points. And so it's it's a it's a thing. And again, I can adjust the cost like based on what's going on. If it's becoming too hard, we can make it cheaper. If it's becoming too easy and Geo's starting to have to eat ramen because I'm paying you guys gift cards, like I might have to increase the price. <laughs> but uh. also, you know, if we get more subscribers, which I'm going to I'm going to post a thing on um I I think Grim you saw this already, but so uh, there's an easy way if you guys have Amazon Prime or if your parents have Amazon Prime to just link that to your Twitch account and you get to subscribe uh, to a channel for free, um, which helps support me so I can buy you guys more gift cards. Uh, and uh, it also gets you uh, more channel points because um, there's a 20% bonus on it, I think. Hello. What's up, Mechanical? Dude, how'd, how'd your 1v1 go? I shit it on him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, alright. All, all good. Who are you Who are you challenging again? Initial, the, Initial. What's it called? He, um, he dropped, like, I think four kills, and then I dropped, like, 12. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's still, that's still good. Uh, yeah, okay, so for you guys in... Alright, so Mechanical, did you did you read the announcement? So you don't, you guys no longer have to do the exclamation point here, because we're not doing attendance anymore for Bond Coins. We're doing channel points. Uh, yeah, I, I just I just read that. Cool, thank you. Yeah. Right. You guys will eventually yeah. again, like all things, we're growing, we're getting bigger. I was talking to some investors actually over the weekend, um, who have a good amount of money. So we're 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 working towards making actual education an actual five hundred one c nonprofit, <laughs> an actual yeah a, a nonprofit such that we can get donations from uh, investors and whatnot, and and just philanthropists that want to like help you guys out more. And I don't like that word nonprofit. It is not I like I'm, profit. I'm, profit. I like profit. I know, but I'm not doing this for profit. You know, that's you that's could, the whole reason. You could though. I I could, do? but that's not really my that's not my vision for this. I don't want to do this for profit. Bro, 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 think want. about it. Think about it. You get twenty thousand kids in here. You know how much money you'd be making off them. Yeah, that sounded so wrong. So. Opportunity. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. <laughs> you get twenty thousand kids here. What if you had twenty thousand kids? Philip is like, screw the kids, bro. I need money. <laughs> Yeah, dude, 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 forget. Remember, Philip, you're one of the kids, dude. Like, you know. Okay. <laughs> you know. I thought being a kid. I don't say anything wrong with it. I know, I know. Can I, I mean, being a kid? I get gift cards, you get money. So that's true. Exactly. Well, uh, yeah, so that's why it's nonprofit because any money I make off of this, right, off of getting investments and whatnot, goes into me being able to expand the Discord, being able to offer more prizes in order to, like, get you guys more vote motivated. And like learning more. That's the whole plan. I I had to cut off the Discord at like six hundred, because honestly, if it gets any bigger, I can't afford it. <laughs> uh, like I I literally can't afford to buy that many gift cards if we go up to like a thousand, two thousand right now. But the, oh, so that's what we need adventure. I think when you start kicking people, you know, like people who's not who's joined but never like done anything. I mean, that's fine. Oh, like again, there. But but people, as you've as we've seen right throughout the year, people join. And then they don't really need help with their schoolwork for the first couple weeks. And then what will happen in a couple weeks is things start getting hard. You start moving from significant figures to having to do titrations, you know, in your chem class, Philip. And then they're like, they're like, oh, wait a minute. I'm in a Discord where they, they fucking teach this shit for free. Like, maybe I should join one of the Twitches. So that's why we have a lot of lurkers, I guess is what you would call, right? Um, but it's okay. Yeah, so... Um, I again, my my big goal, just so you guys know, because you're all part of this. You you guys are like the OGs. You're the founders. You're seeing the beginning of this. My big goal is for to expand this to more than just 600. I'd I'd like to have thousands of kids in the Discord, and then maybe so um, you, you Grim, yeah, I'll be in the Hall of Fame of educational actual education. You know, one of the OGs. Yeah, one I'll be in the Hall of Fame. What you talking about? You'll all be in the Hall of Fame. You're you're all by definition here before like we've gotten like serious expansion happening. So you're all part of the OGs and whatnot. Me. But my, my title in the Hall of Fame is gonna be uh, Grim Reaper, the Tyrant. The Tyrant. Yeah. Well, Grim. Yeah. <laughs> Also, Grim, as you're witnessing, dude, I need you guys to be nice to the new kids coming in. Don't like, don't make them rage yeah, quit, Grim. please. Don't make them rage quit. Yeah, that looks bad. Talking, you already have a warning. Yeah, you got a warning. You and Initial. Initial really started it. Initial really started it. He should have stopped. I honestly, I was teaching. I didn't have time to deal with this. I can't. Um, uh, awesome. Yeah, good to see you. Uh, Dehora on crack. Yeah, what's up, Dehora on crack? We are, the, we, are, we are. Let's start. Hey, God, let's let's start a call called the Children of Geo. Oh stop! No, you guys are gonna get me arrested or something. 
at jail, a slow speed. I don't want to go to I don't want to go far. to jail, dude. <laughs> how can I teach you? Yeah, that? if you go to jail, then how is Bomby Boy gonna run the channel? I'm yeah, yeah, server. there you go, dude. Bomby Boy can yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's busy. Bomby, Bomby Boy's in in NBA school. He's he's busy with stuff. Uh, he's in what? Well, then how NBA am I school. Run the <laughs> there you go, mechanical. N NBA school. Yeah, thank you. NBA uh, Masters of Business Administration. It's like a grad school oh. program for. So after you uh, do your so undergraduate, um, you can go to grad school, right? I w I went to grad school for physics in my PhD. Uh, he's a Bitcoin miner and a grad student. He is a he's he's technically a graduate student in business. That's what an MBA is. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Dehor. I don't plan on going to jail, but you know. Is there a gaming school? Uh, there is no gaming school yet. I mean, maybe eventually there could be. I mean, there is if you want to like mean, develop games. Isn't it mechanical? Mechanical is mechanical is the game. So again, these are also really big things that I'd like to do. Like, for instance, I would love to be able to hire other people like me who are cool at teaching and can teach when I'm not around. You know, that's an, a, another expansion good. thing. Right, they teach well. No, I would vet them and make mm -hmm. sure that like they're cool. You know, not like some boring nerd who's going to show get, up and you'll like. You get paid uh ten dollars an hour. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you you gotta offer in uh, like anything, dude. Like like if any every, anyone's good at something, they don't do it for free, you know. So that's why you know I mean, we need more I'm, funding I'm to do that. Being, I'm good at being nice. What's up, Doctor Gold? I, I, oh, sorry. What's up, Phelps? I, I am Doctor Gold. No one cherishes kindness in the real world. I know. Well, I'm trying to change that, you know. Also, right, I would I, need. I, I also, I would need to get more mods and whatnot. So, like, and I can start paying the oh, mods. I can, I, I can do. It. I can do. It. I, I know, do right? It. Yeah, you guys who are being trustworthy and 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 good and like not scaring off new students and like helping them out. Like, I'll stop back, scaring off new students. Well, yeah, good, Grim. Thank Graham, you. I don't. I, I. I don't know, man. Yeah. So. That's another thing. As we expand, I need more mods, and like I would love to be able to pay you guys for your time as mods. Right now, the mods donate their time, and I really appreciate it because honestly, you guys are helping me like keep things. I spent like I spent like seventeen hours of my day on just on the server. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. you. Probably keep our metrics up pretty high, but like you know, we'll 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 get there. Anyways, all right. So that's just a little quick update on what's happening. So. Make sure you guys are streaming the Twitch if you want to get Bond Coins. Make sure you're streaming it and make sure you're, like, clicking the fucking button or whatnot. And then make sure you're redeeming it. Uh, and, if again, if you come consecutive days, it'll give you bonuses. I'm pretty sure you guys can get more Bond Coins than you were than just getting one. The easiest way to get Bond Coins, however, though, is what Philip is doing right here, which is he asked a question. Thank you, Philip. I, I, I asked a question, too, though. Good. All right. Did, did someone post a screenshot? Who posted the screenshot? I did. Oh, Sor posted the first screenshot, so I'll go over Sor's first. Okay. Thank you. Patty posted one as well. There you go. Wow, we got three questions lined up. Thank you. All right. Is that on the homework, Patrick? Uh, it's not technically part of the homework, but it's, it's okay. You can post your homework. I'll help you with your homework. That's totally cool. I don't care. Dang, as long as it's not. It's just, go it's just going over it. Chill as out. long as it's not literally a test while you're taking it, I will help you with it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't take honors chemistry, Philip, so I don't have the bullshit. All right. Okay, here yeah, we bro, go. Yeah, but you guys have, have you guys even doing like any labs yet? Yeah, we do labs like almost every day. Yeah, but they're like guys... they're almost pointless. Yeah. We don't I'm gonna like... dissect the pig this year. We just th we just like pr like in our class, he just asks us, "What do you think is happening?" Oh, that's oh, too God. funny. No, nice. he doesn't tell us like what actually is happening. That's how you guys gonna bark or that's like how, or anything. That's how like? slow is uh, regular chemistry is. Uh, yeah, I literally. Dude, I, that's why I told you guys to take pre AP, dude. I told you to take pre AP. It's much better than. Dude, I'm I'll, taking it right now. Yeah, well, take. Not smart enough. You, no, he I, is. I have 105 in regular chemistry. Yeah, stop. Bro. That's I why, dude. He's got 105, dude. You need to chill, dude. Like what? 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 You need to be in a harder class. You should switch right now, dude. I, no, it's it's probably, a bit too late, I think. Is it? Is it too late? No, know. it's like in two days. Like, and if I switch my out. and if I switch my class, I'm gonna have to switch up my whole schedule. And it's yeah, like... it's, it's too late, Patrick. That was your. And, I, and I like most of my cool. classes. Nice. I'm looking forward to my biology because I'm gonna dissect the pig this year. Oh wow, awesome. that's a fun one. I didn't do anything in biology last year. Yeah, Back. you do that in AP Bio. All right, all right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Here's your question, dude. Right? What it's it's about um taking numbers and graphing them on a number line. Sore, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so let's 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 look at like what they're asking here, right? They say order the numbers from least to greatest, and then graph them on a number line. So you got a bunch of numbers here, right? Square root of five, yep. two point five, square root of three. How do you think you do this, Sor? Totally forgot. Totally forgot. Okay, that's cool. All right, so square root of five, right? You don't really know what that number is, right? But you do know what two point nope. five is. That's an easy number, right? Okay. What yeah. the, what they want you to do is they want you to approximate what this number is. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, cool. So, what are some other square roots I know 
that I know what the value are that are like less than five, you know. Three. Do you know what the square root of three is? No. No. Good. Okay. It's <laughs> one point. One point something. Yeah. Six. One point seven something. Seven. Yeah. Wait, okay. Wait, what are we even talking about? We're talking. Oh, here. Let me sh- let me stream it on the Discord too for you guys. Wait. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Let, sorry. Sorry. Let no. Me do no. Not that. I I came back. I had to use the bathroom. Um, okay. Uh, we're do- we're doing source source questions. Source got a question. He's asking. Hello, I, I can even answer your, your homework, bro. Okay. Source, source, not, what's your question? Not. He's asking yeah. about. He's asking about, three, about how, how to order three numbers. One point seven three two zero five zero eight zero right. seven five. Grim, seven. Grim, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's correct. That's if you have a calculator, but I don't. You're not allowed to use a calculator to do this. You I know? didn't use a calculator. <laughs> Uh, I thought the square uh, root of three would be one point thirty three. Nah, I don't think it is. One point thirty three. No, 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 no. Okay, all right. So, okay. Whenever you see square roots of of numbers and they're asking you to estimate it, think about the square roots that you know. Like, for instance, do you know what the square root of four is? Sore? Do you know what the square root of four is? Two. It got quiet. It got quiet, but yeah, the answer is two. Good, thank you. Square, okay. Square root of four is two. You should know that. Please so divide them. Well, no, 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 no. Square root's not dividing, right? Right. Let's 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 remember. Let's remember. Okay. Square root of a number, right? If I have like the square root of a, right? This is asking me um, what times itself gives me a. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Right. So, sore, sore, sore. Answer this. What is the square root of nine? Three. Three. Good. Awesome. Okay. Cool. So, square root of five, right? We know that the square root of five is probably in between. The square root of four. Oh, it's definitely in between the square root of four, and it's less than the square root of nine, right? Yes, I mean. Okay, good. So square root of four is two, right? Do you understand why the square root of four is less than the square root of five? Yeah. Good. And do you understand why the square root of five is less than the square root of nine? Yes, nine okay. is greater. Good. Okay, but you know what these actual these actual numbers are, right? This is equal to two, right? This is still square root of five. And then this is equal to three. So the square root of five is between which which numbers? Three. Three and two. Two. Good. So it's somewhere between two and three, right? So if I wanted so to write four. this So what it's four? Yeah. No, four is not in between two and three. What's a n what's a what's like a decimal between two and three? Two point five. Good. There you go. All right, two point five would be an example, right? Okay. Ah, four. Yeah. All right. But 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 sore. Okay. That's if it was equally close to these two. Which one is which one is this probably close to? Square root of five is closer to square root of four or closer to square root of nine? Nine. Wait, why do you think it's closer to nine? Actually wouldn't it be equal? Uh no. No no no, because look, this is only a difference of like one, right? This is a difference of like four, right? Oh. Which one's it closer to? I'll say two. Good, it's closer to this, right? So instead of being two point five Let's make this one like I don't know, like two point two ish. Okay. Do you see how uh-huh. that's closer to two like than it is ish. to three? Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Okay. So now we need to figure out. So so now we know that this number, right? This number is around like two point two, right? This is two point five. We need to figure out what this number is as a decimal. Okay. Let's figure out what the square root of three is as a decimal. Square root of three is a decimal. Okay, let's okay. go. Okay, so what square root is, is square root of three greater than that you know of? One. Good. Very good. Square root of three is bigger than the square root of one. And what is the square root of one? One. One. Very good. Okay, so one is less than the square root of three. So square root of three we know is bigger than one. And then what's another Zero. square root? What's another what's a, what's another square root that's bigger than the square root of three? Four. Four. Good. Square root of four. And what's the square root of four? Two. Two. Good. So now, do you see how square root of three is between one and it's between it's between one and two, right? Yeah, it's like right in the middle. Good. So then, what 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 number what decimal could I probably write this one as being? Uh, one point five. Good. One point five. Oh, yeah. All right. So now I drink water. Yet? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I got you. I got you, dude. You don't want your bond coins? You're gonna keep blowing them on me drinking water? Yeah. All right, I appreciate the hydration, Grim. Um, okay, good. So, yeah, so now for square root of 3, we have this as, like, being, like, 1.5, okay? So now can you put these in order from least to greatest, Sor? Which one's the smallest one? Four. Uh, four? Four's the smallest. 
No, no, yeah. no. Out of, out of these three numbers, you only have three numbers here, right? Oh, uh, no, no, those three. Yeah, because these are the three, right? We took these three numbers and then we made them all decimals, okay? So which one of these is the smallest one? Um, four. No, no, no. I say three. Yes, three. Square root of three. Good. Right. Yeah. So square root of three is the least. What's the next biggest one? Out of the 2.5 and the 2.2, .2, which one is which one's the smaller one? Hmm, 2.5. Oh, no, 2.5 is not smaller than 2.2. 2.2. .2. 2 .2, five. Square root of 5. Yeah, good. Uh -huh. Okay. And then the final one you have left is just 2.5, okay? So this is you ordering them from least to greatest, okay? And then you need to put them on the number line, right, somewhere here. So 2.5, you know, is just right here. Square root of 5, we said, was close to what decimal value? When we did it here. Which one did we say it was close to, sir? Closest to the 5. Yes. No, 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 no. We already d the, the, the square root of 5 is close to what decimal value? Oh. We wrote it. We wrote it down right here. <laughs> said 2.5. No, we said 2.2. 2.2-ish. Yeah, yeah. So see, so here, this would be equal to the square root of 5, okay? And then where is the square root of 3 going to be on our number line? Where are we going to put it? Less. Left. Left. Yes, good. What, what do we say the square root of 3 is kind of like as a decimal? In the middle. Good. In the middle between what, what numbers? 1 and 2. Good. So that's going to go one right here. Yeah. The 1 and 2. Yeah, that's good. So this is going to be square root yeah. of 3. Nice. Cool. Does that make sense, Soar? Make more sense? Yes. Okay, awesome. Good. Good job, Soar. Soar asked a question. So Soar gets a bond coin. Yay. Good job, Soar. Good job, Soar. Good job, Soar. Uh, you should be able to... So, Soar, there's another question here that I want you to do by yourself. You should do this one by yourself. Okay. Gucci. And you should tell me what you get and whether uh, you get... I can, I'll can. i check it to make sure it's right. Cool. All right. Let's see. Next question is... Okay, is Philip? Philip, you hear Philip? Yep, number six and seven. The okay, two. cool. Let's see it. Loading, loading. What's up? What's going on in the chat while this is loading? Blame Grim. Huh. Damn, why do these images always take so long? This is in 4K, bro. Trust me. Yeah, dude. This probably isn't 4K, dude. My my internet's like like what the fuck. Oh, you know why it's probably also taking long? Cause I'm uploading on the stream while I'm uploading to the server. It's probably like what's going on. Uh, all right, I'll just. You know what I should have? I should have some like elevator music while while that happens. Like do 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 do. There we go. All right. Cool. Um, number six and number seven. Yep. Oh, okay. Cool. So these are phase changes. Phase changes are cool. So that's how, like, we for did like a little, we did like a little experiment or lab in class where we just measured, like, so we did like cold water and hot water, uh -huh. and measured them, and then we had this like device that graphed us, it graphed it for us the changes, and we like mixed it together and got the average and stuff like that. Oh, uh, that's called like a bomb calorimeter, is what they call that. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. What? It was like a special device. Yeah. And we had like two thermostats that so was like wireless and then it like created a little bomb boy. for us. Hello, bombie boy. Bomb, bomb calorimeter. I saw those. I saw those in my class when I had chem today. Yeah, here. I was I'll... like, what the fuck are those? Yeah, they're actually yeah, they're pretty, pretty cool. cool. Uh, you can actually make a bomb calorimeter pretty easily. You just need styrofoam cups, really. Um. But yeah, Is that what you had to do in high school? Yeah, we just use styrofoam cups. We literally just use fucking styrofoam cups. Like here, bomb calorimeter, right here. styrofoam. We, we just, that's what I po I posted it in. Oh, you post a picture of it? Yeah, yeah. it looks it looks we something those, like this. Yeah. It's just like a coffee cup, right? And you just put a stir, I guess, in it. And you just measure the temperature. Yeah. And then we used a a lab quest. Oh, lab quest? You guys running on a oh, lab quest? Okay. Oh, not lab yeah, view. Automatically graphed for us and everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, the reason why they call it a bomb calorimeter, by the way, guys, is um, they would use this a lot of times in order to, like, measure how much energy was in a bomb. Uh, they would just, like, detonate bombs, like, underneath the ground in, like, big puddles of water. And they'd be like, how much did the water go up? <laughs> you know, if the water, if the temperature water. of the water goes up a lot, they're like, oh, that bomb was pretty fucking hot then. Like, there's a lot of energy in the bomb. 
Um, a bomb? Yeah, bombs. Like literally bombs. Yeah. Who who plays with bombs in high school? Well, no, I mean it's <laughs> no. It's an antiquated it's name. It's, it's an antiquated name, Grim, dude. It's a it's just an old name for. A, so a, it says, a, "What rule can be stated about the relationship yes. between phase changes and temperature?" Cool. All right. What rules can be stated? Um, phase changes. Uh, oh, so okay. It, just, it turns from ice, and then as it goes up, it turns into a liquid, and then once it reaches probably, I think, a hundred degrees Celsius, it starts to boil. Well, yeah, that's true. So. Well, it doesn't give us any measurements. So yeah, like, no. They, well, they, when they say rule, they want something like in general. They don't want you to just describe what happens like just between yeah. ice and whatnot. Um, so the general general um, rule here, right, is is that um, to get from one phase to another, you need to increase the temperature, right? Um, so, for instance, you know, when, when something is a solid, right, um, it becomes a liquid. The, the the temperature increases until it hits a flat point, and this is this is this is where actually where the phase change is actually happening. So um, one thing you could say is that the temperature remains constant during the phase change. You know, during the phase change, the temperature is constant. You see how the temperature here yeah. is constant. So it's constant for a little bit, yeah. Well, it's 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 during the phase so. The, During the heat energy, when there's more heat energy, it off, well, right? well, yeah, heat energy. Interesting. That's that's what they. Right. This is the energy. Okay. So heat energy is like the the energy being put into a system, right? Let's say like you had a a big block of ice, and then you started like putting a fire up to it, right? That would be inputting heat or inputting energy, right? Um, so what you can say is that like phase changes actually only occur at constant temperatures, right? Something going from a solid to a liquid. This is actually called this is this is called like a phase transition, is what this is. Phase transition, yeah. Yeah, phase transition or phase I guess they call it a phase change. Um that only happens at constant temperature. Um there's ac it's, it's it's actually pretty cool how how this how this works. Like let's say for instance you have a solid, right? Do you actually know what what how we measure temperature? Do you know how we measure temperature? Like a, a thermometer? Yeah, but do you know what we're measuring when we measure temperature? Celsius? Uh, that's the units, but really what we're measuring is how much the, the atoms are vibrating is what we're measuring. Oh, yeah, yeah, So when it's like, you know, the lower the temperature, this is like the slower they vibrate. Uh-huh, uh-huh, good. And this... then, like, when it goes higher, it vibrates faster. Yeah, faster. good. Stuff vibrates faster uh, when it's oh, at that's higher. that's what I said for number five. It says particle moves faster, as, um, atoms move faster, and then the heat, um, like, heat, and, like, it starts to heat up. Yeah, as temperature. Yeah, temperature is, is very related to... So here's what happens. So let's say we have a solid piece of ice, right? Okay. Um, that's pretty cold. And um, we start heating it up, okay? Um, what will happen is these atoms will start to move faster and faster um, next to each other. They'll start to vibrate faster. Um, so as you add heat, what happens is the temperature goes up. And what that means is that the atoms, the ice atoms, are vibrating more. Okay? Now, eventually what happens is you get to a certain temperature, right, which for ice, right, is zero degrees Celsius. You get to a certain temperature. it begins to melt, right? That it begins to melt. And so the difference between a solid and a liquid, right, has to do with the what they call the, uh, I believe it's the intermolecular bonds. Intermolecular bonds is what they call them. Or maybe intra. Maybe it's intermolecular bonds. Uh, no, I think it's inter. I think it's inter, right? Yeah. I always forget which one is. It's like interest. It's like. In is there a Fortnite tournament today? What? Oh, is yeah. There, there, yeah, there tournament? is. Yeah, there's a Fortnite tournament after today. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Um, so. Um, yeah, grim. So. So what happens is. Um, when when we hit that that temperature of zero degrees Celsius, and then we start having what's what's the phase transition, you know that that point where the temperature is constant, right? Um, so then what we have so as the temperature is constant, now all the energy from the heat doesn't go into vibrating the particles more; it goes into breaking the bonds between between the atoms. Is what happens. So that's why. Um, yeah. Nuclear explosion, yeah. 
that's why that's why the temperature remains constant because overall the speed and and like vibration of the atoms is not changing but what is changing is you're taking that heat energy and you're breaking the bonds that keep them all locked together like a solid and then you're allowing them to be more free like a liquid that's that's why the temperature is constant while that's happening does that make, does it make sense Philip? yeah okay cool all right so and then number seven is kind of like the what rule can be the, the between the phase changes and heat energy um okay well heat energy always goes up <laughs> right mm -hmm. it's just you need like, it, like when people are heat well, yeah well yeah when people are heated yeah so you you need heat energy both to increase the temperature and to um have the phase transition occur right yeah so that's if you need heat energy to increase temperature and and to phase changes to occur and to facilitate I th I think technically it's called a phase transition I'm trying to let me let me see one sec phase transition versus phase change there is no difference oh well that's phase transformation uh, let me see one sec. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So the phase changes are the flat temperature parts, Philip. That's that's tech. So technically, that's the only time that there's actually phase changing happening. So, okay. um, you, there is no phase change happening when you're inputting heat and the temperature is going up. There's only phase changes happening when the temperature is constant, and you're changing from a phase right from solid to liquid or liquid to gas. Cool. All right. Makes sense. That's all I need. All right. Good. All right. Thank you. Philip, for asking that great question in chemistry. I love chemistry, honestly. Like, ask more chemistry questions, guys. I, you know, I want someone to start if asking. I had, if I had honors, Ken. I know. If you I'd didn't have a hundred and five, Patty. Mad. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold up. Can I ask a biology that? question? I emailed like the what's it called the science division head or whatever at our school, and she still has not responded. And I, res I, I emailed her three days before school. Oh wow. Yeah, and, and, and she's just, they're yeah. just just lagging like hell. Oh, I honestly like because people aren't like probably on top of their shit. I I, I redeemed another bond. Wow, coin. yeah, look at that, dude. Philip got two bond coins off of the channel points. Nice, dude. Yeah, yeah. maybe I do need I to have raise the price. Four K channel points. Well, there you go. You can get a bond redeem coin right off the bat. Right yeah, you can you can redeem one right now. You can get one. I don't even have one yet. It's not giving me any. Well, are you watching the Twitch? Yeah. All oh, a thousand channel points is a bond coin. Correct. Okay. There we go. It used to be three thousand. Yeah, I lowered it. There you go. I bet. There you go. Yeah, he lowered it because my logic. Well, no, that's, I, I, that's I, lo I, lo I lowered it because we're moving away from attendance. I'm moving more towards viewership. Um, thank you. All right, Mechanical, you have a biology question? Awesome, cool. I will get to that. Let me do... Who, who had a question first? It was... It was me right It is you. Philip. Good. All right, Pat, Patty. I'm just... Uh, I, like, understand majority of it. I just want to, like, go over it. Sure, like, that's fine. Just different kinds of problems, you know. I'm gonna go over it with you. More too, practice. Patrick. More practice. I got, I got it pulled up. I got it pulled up. Wait, Patty and and yeah. Philip, you all are in the same math class, right? Same class, yeah. same period. Same class. But not the same chemistry. No. Dude, Patty, don't you, enough, Patty, yeah. don't you want to be in the same chemistry class as Philip, dude? What block do you have, of Philip? I have second block with Mr. Mott. I Wait. have fourth block. No, your schedule. Sh I have AP World then, so no, we won't be able to have it. Our gold days, we would be able. To I do. do not want to take an AP social science because AP my AP social world... science is not worth it. Actually, it is, but what's not called worth the stress. my world history class is very fun. Uh, Grim, don't don't call me on Discord. Oh God! During... Oh God! No, don't call me during oh. the stream, dog. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do number nineteen. All right, is nineteen the hard? Nah, let's go to a hard one. I don't want the fucking hard ones, dude. Yeah, do do one of the hard ones. All right, yeah, you oh, will, you're gonna do it. I'm just gonna Dr. guide Gore. you, bro. What's up, dude? I'm doing it too. Grim, what's up? Number twenty-six. Uh, right, yeah, yeah. Like, what does dark gold do? What does dark gold do? What? What? Grim, Grim, Grim. Oh, Darth yeah. Gold. The one oh, Darth I Gold. Taken. Oh, I put on the. I have a. I have a Darth Vader helmet that I put on, and I. I do the stream. Yeah. If you guys want to do that. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, that's a fun time. But I honestly, it's fucking. Someone hot. buy it right now. Someone buy it. Yeah. Well, Sora's bought it before a couple times. Oh, so. shit. I'm so stupid, bro. All right, here. Let's try and do this. Let's try and do this. Let's try and do this. Okay. Um, this yeah. this is gonna be useful. Um, Patty, to to first factor things, right? 
right? Yeah. Because if we factor things, things are nice. So what's what's something we I just did stuff on factor. Good, good. GCF. GCF, right? What can I factor out of yeah. 10x squared minus 20x? What can I factor out Those of that? You can factor 10x. Good, 10x. Good, right? Good, Patrick. You're learning. So so okay. Hello. X minus two. X x minus. Well, okay. Let's let him answer it. X minus two. Good. All right. All right. Well, I'm doing it with him. Hold on. I gotta. All right, all right. All right. All right. All right. But I want Patty to answer Team. more of it. And then over. How, what am I gonna factor gonna out of the bottom one? 40x squared. 40x squared, Ooh, good. Patrick, 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 Patrick is patty grab, so he's patty grab scrim, dude. Okay, and then what's that gonna be? What oh, times what? X minus two. Oh, do you see how like we already got no, some shit? Just gonna be. Uh, X so be X minus two. And then yeah, it's and then X minus two. Do X cannot equal to positive two. I'll get, I'll get, in, I'll go into yeah, that. I'll go, I'll go into that. I'll go into that. Okay. All right. So then let's. I didn't know we had to do that until he told us. Yeah. What? Yeah, what? He what? Was what? Like, yeah. Do you, there's something off, guys. Like, uh, what else do you have to do? Oh, and none of us, none of the class knew what to do. No one knew. Yeah, that's. I'll, I'll tell you. So that's a that's a thing I bring up in my TikTok videos sometimes. Like dividing by zero is bad math. Like it fucks up a lot of shit. It's because like uh, when you mult if x is like two, the 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 x like it cancels out, and then like the denominator is zero, and then it's like yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Bad. So so what happens is if if you plug in two into this right now, you would get zero divided by zero. Okay, but. Zero divided by zero is undefined. Is the problem like yeah. zero divided by zero is is undefined? Never divide by zero. Like anytime you have divide by zero, it's like, it's like a a big no no. It's like it's like you're like you start breaking things. So just don't do it. Uh, but that, so that's why we say we can't use x minus two. Uh, we can't use x equals to two. Okay, what can I factor out of this top part then? Does sixteen go into eighty like equally? It does. Yes. Yeah, it does. It does all right. So it's sixteen x squared. Good. Times what? Frank. Pinch. Pinch. It's five. Good. 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 Yeah. Good. X. Phil just had to tell me in Polish. Oh, really? <laughs> I didn't know what it was. I thought you were getting it for a second there. No, it's all right. Yeah. Right. Five times sixteen. Right. Uh, so five times ten is fifty. Five times six is thirty. Fifty plus thirty is eighty. Philip. Philip definitely did that in his calculator right before. Uh, he told me. maybe he did. Maybe he did. Okay. What do I pull out of the bottom? Uh, like six. Six, good. What do I have left? X plus five. Good. Nice, Patrick. Oh my okay, god. Okay, so learning. before we start, before we start canceling things, right? Before we start canceling things, I have to, I have to put some disclaimers, right? On what numbers X cannot be. What can X not be? Two and negative five. Good. Two and negative five. Good. All right, now mm -hmm. you can start canceling whatever the fuck you want, right? As long as you do this, as long as you write down like what X cannot be before you start canceling things, then you're okay. Under? Usually, like, he usually, uh, what's it called? At the he usually puts it at the Under? end of the answer. Like yeah. we solve it, we fully factor it or whatever, and then we do comma X uh -huh. cannot equal whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we are gonna do this. I just don't want you to forget it because what's gonna happen, right? Is you're gonna cancel this, you're gonna cancel this, and then you're gonna cancel this yeah. and cancel this, right? So you may forget that those were there. So I always like try to like keep this like on the side while I'm doing stuff, so that like I remember that like you know, uh, in my f okay. So cool. Now now we now this is just gonna be some nice simplification, right? Because now we have 10x over 40x squared times 16x squared over six. So there's a t mm -hmm. there's a cross lot of canceling you can do here. Wait. No, no, you no, don't no, you no. don't cross multiply. Cancel. Cancel. No, because when you're multiplying fractions, mm -hmm. it's like you could just combine them. Good. Kind we can of, we I can guess. combine them. Yes. Like the it's just gonna be one division sign. Good. Of yes. Two. Yeah. We could write it as one big division sign, right? Um. So what what are some things we can cancel? Like, cause usually, right? If I have like a two and a four, I could make that like one half, right? So the ten x we can take out ten x, right? Well, uh, on the left, it could be one over four. Thank you. Uh, one over four. X. The uh, one over four x. Yeah, so you're right. The 10 and the 40 would cancel to be one fourth. That's correct, right? But then x over x squared is going to be what? Negative x, and you have to keep it at the bottom. Right, right, right. So because a minus b. Yes. Okay. So here's another thing. Do you, do you guys know this? Right. Uh, x to the a over x to the b is x to the a minus b. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Right. So if you have x to the one over x to the two, this is going to be x to the one minus two, which is x to the minus one. 
But anytime it you have a negative, right, right. What you do is you negative just flip it. you flip it, you flip it like flipper, and it becomes one over x. Right? Yeah, cool. Exactly, bro. Nice, good. Okay. Yes, sir. So a lot of times when I see this, I'm just like, all right, cool, one over two. All right, so that's gonna go away, and this is just gonna become a one. So now I have like one over four x, right? You just want to make things simpler so that when you do the actual full multiplying, you don't have to fucking deal with more shit. So what what how could I simplify this sixteen x squared and six? Uh, you can. It's is it gonna be, no, not three. Um, take out a two, right? You yeah, could, it's two. You could take out a two. Yeah, right. So or I, you could take. No, you could take. Wait, nothing goes into sixteen divided by three. No, no, no. Unfortunately, no, not. no, no. no, no. It's four times know, four. Yeah, four it's times four times four. four. I know. I saw the six for a second. I'm like, oh, let's cancel the sixes. It's like, no, you can't do that. So no. okay. So that's eight x squared over three, right? So now we have eight x squared over three. So now here's like kind of some like it's not cross multiplying, but I know what you're talking about. You, you're seeing like this shit, right? You're seeing how like maybe this stuff could have canceled mm -hmm. too. Yeah. So th and this is the nice thing about multi. Anytime things are multiplying, uh, what's what's that's yeah, called is uh, I think is that called commutative? What's that called? The one where you can like you can move the order of them, right? So the instead butterfly. of butterfly. The butterfly. No, it's 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 some sort of thing. Butterfly method. That's not. A so I, instead of saying one times eight x squared, I could just say eight x squared times one, right? Over four x times three. I can I can flip the ordering of things multiplying. Um, uh huh. Yeah, I've I've seen that. I just don't want to. I just don't know what it's called. Yeah, I forget. It's it's called some property. Who knows? I mean, it? if you're multiplying one by one, does it really need to be there? Exactly. You're right. It doesn't even really need to be there. Okay. So now we just have this, right? Okay. And actually, we can combine this. Let's just combine this real quick. What, what's 4x times 3? 4x times 3. X. 12x. 12x. Yeah. 12x. Good. Okay, so now we have this. And then right? we can simplify it further, right? Yes, this can be simplified yes. even further. What can be simplified? Patty. Patty. 2 only over 3x. Uh, oh, no, 2x Patty. over 3. Uh, he's telling it already. Yes. 8 over 12, right? Uh, I think 4 goes into both of those, right? So that's 2 yes. over 3. Yeah. And then x squared three. over x, x squared over x is just x, so you get two over three. It's, it's two x, two x over three. Two x over three, two three. or you could also write two thirds x. Same thing, right? And then comma x cannot comma, equal two. X can, you, yeah, very good. X cannot equal two and negative, two five. And negative five. Nice. See? See? A nice See, you know tag teamwork there by Philip and Patty. Does that make more sense, Patty? I know you already knew it, but like, do you see like the tricks and stuff with it? It's yeah. Because like we kind of there's like a lot, especially like with me and Patrick. I feel like we both just like don't like it when it's like a big equation. Yeah, there's like a lot of steps, but it's like really easy. Yeah, it's just fall, this, like, this is all methodical. Yeah, like yes. this is all just like just pull shit out, um, and then hopefully things should start looking nice, and you'll just cancel. It's them. All mental, bro. Yeah, it's it is all mental. It's all it's it's like the challenges in life, dude. Everything looks daunting until like you start like taking the first couple steps, and then it's like, oh, it's not too bad, you know. Can we do one more? Uh, number twenty. Can we do number twenty? Can we like do division? number twenty? Let me see. One sec. Where the fuck Div is my pen? It's quick. Dividing. It's oh, it's rational expressions. That's what it's called. Let me see. Let me see real quick. Uh, number twenty. Yeah, it's uh, dividing. Oh, okay. Expression. Oh, this. Oh, this one. Oh, this one. Okay, okay. One sec. Let me put this over the here. This one should be one. quick, but dividing, I need like a little practice. Okay. Well, do you know how to divide? No, I mean, dividing, Philip. You could just flip the right side. Thank Reciprocal. You. Yes, you just flip it. That's all you do. You flip it like flipper, dude. Okay, cool. So it's one over m plus <laughs> nine times, and then this is three n minus eighteen over six minus n. That's all that changes, right? I sometimes hate how my pen like does not want to work. No. Yeah. Doesn't everyone hate that? Yeah. Yeah, I think everyone does. Okay, what can I pull out? Of, what, what guys? What can I pull out of three n minus eighteen? Um, three for GCF yeah, three. and then n and minus then n, n minus six. So oh, n minus six. Oops. Three n minus six, right? And this is over six minus n. See how this is like? This is kind of almost bad, right? You see how these are like close, but they're just not, right? Like this is oh, n minus shoot. six. So you have, to, you have to add. You have to like do a negative and then make a positive. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. So here's the trick, guys. Oh, yeah. Anytime you have a minus b, oh, this is equal to the God. same thing as negative times b oh, minus a. All right. If you want to flip the order of something, just put a minus sign uh, on. Uh, Mega Max, how long is this stream? Uh, Mega Max, this stream goes for another fifteen minutes. So I do an hour, but I have them every day now, Monday through Thursday at least. So we're gonna have more streams. Um, yes, sir. Okay, so 
I, I would like for these two to be the same order. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull a negative out in this one. So I'm going to make this um, 1 over m plus 9 times negative 3, 6 minus n over 6 minus n. Okay? Do you see how I did this that? This is why math is going to get yeah. canceled. This Where is the hell did you pull that three from? <laughs> well, the three was here. The three, the three was here, dude. I mean, where'd you pull that negative from? I just put you it in there. Switch the order. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, good question. Good question, mechanical. So, anytime I switch the order from A minus B to B minus A, you just need to put a negative outside of it. This is because okay, can't you do oh, negative? Because let's see if we if we redistributed this, this would be negative B plus A, which is the same as A minus B. See how the same same fucking thing. Wait, can you uh, also can you also change the bottom? Like, so let's say we just kept three um n minus six. Can we also do negative positive six minus n? Uh, can we uh, like change the signs at the bottom? Oh, well, but why would we no, want to change? Why would we want? No, if if you change the sign here, you got to change the ordering of these. You you can't ever make this like a plus, right? You can't do that. Uh, you don't want to change the ordering too, right? Because like they're, they're the same. This oh, is what okay, I wanted, yeah. right? I want this because these will cancel, right? All right, that makes a little more sense. Okay, good. So we cancel this. Okay, but then then keyword guys, right? X cannot equal what? Positive. One. Positive six. Good. Positive six. X cannot. X equals one. No, no. X cannot equal six, Grim, because because again, I I want to make sure that the denominator does not equal zero. So if x, if n here were equal to 6, I'd get 6 minus 6, which is 0, which is not good. So, okay, cool. Oh, now okay. we have negative 3 over n plus 9. And honestly, I think this is this is all you need, right? Is this all? Do they really want the n on the top? I don't think so, right? No. No. I don't think so. I don't no. think you can put the n on top anyways. I'd have to, like, yeah, you can't. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, so this is the answer right here. That, that's what it should be. Also, right, with this. You. Cool. Awesome. If, if it was if it was nine n though, we would, it would be able to be simplified though, right? Correct. Yes, because then you could divide the three out. Yeah. Uh, Nick says I kind of lost you in the problem. Oh, okay. Uh, commutative property is the commutative property. Okay. Nick, ask me about this afterwards, so I I have I, I got more time to go to the next question, but I will I'll, I'll help job, you I'll help Patty. you with it if if. Let's go. I want, I want you guys to understand stuff. Ready for that quiz tomorrow? We got a quiz tomorrow. You posted Let's the next question. <laughs> it was uh, Grim. Grim, you post the next question. Although Grim, I can't read that. I can't read that first one. <laughs> that is so. I mean, that's why I put another uh, second screenshot. Okay, thank you. Okay, I can do this. Is this what you're talking about? This one right here. Oh, okay. Transformations. Oh, right. I love f of x. Yeah, right. f of x, g of x. Okay. Graphing. Graphing. I have none of this in power. Okay. Um. Okay. So we're multiplying our function by two. Do you know what this does, Grim? Um, that means uh, that means our uh, our function will be twi uh, twice the regular function. Twice the regular function. Good. So then, what's going to happen? Um. So, like, if it's four, it's going to be eight. Good. So, and what what does the function usually spit out? Is that an x value or a y value? A y value. Good. Y value, right. So if the y value is doubling, what's happening to the function? Is it is it is it stretching in a certain direction? Which direction is it probably stretching? Uh up. Up, good. So in the y direction. So the transformation of this graph, this is what we call a vertical stretch. By two. Okay. And actually, here I'm gonna I'll, I'll make a there, here's a little cheat sheet that I want you to take a screenshot of, Grim, because this this will help you out with stuff. Okay, this is like the okay. the transformation cheat sheet. Okay. Wait, right, let me take a screenshot right now. Well, I haven't I haven't I haven't done the cheat sheet yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's say we have a function f of x, right? And then let's say we have g of x is now equal to f of x. Uh, Plus a, do people know what what the, what this does? What transformation this is? Oh, uh, makes you makes you cool. Makes you cool. Yeah, well. It does make you kind of cool, I guess. Patty, do you know what do you know what this does? When when I when I add a like close to what the x is. I don't remember. Don't remember, Philip? Do you remember it? What was it? The transformation chi chi f of x g of x f. Wait, what is it? What was that a for? Well, I, this is this <laughs> <laughs> this is That's the transfer. What he's asking about. Yeah, what it, what what happens when I add a, but I add it inside of the the independent variable, like inside of the the parentheses. 
What happens to the function? Does it move a certain way or something? Oh, it determines the um, like the the type of function, right? Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but it, this is gonna shift it in a certain direction. Well, it's gonna shift it. In gonna change. Direction. Is it gonna change the y intercept? So no. Yeah. Uh, uh, it it changes both, but in general, it's gonna shift the function, um, in the x direction. Depending on the value. Good. This is gonna shift it in the x direction, to the left. Because left is positive. Good. Right? Yes, yeah, yeah. It's backwards, yeah. Left, A. That's weird as fuck sometimes. It is, actually. And I can show you I, I can show you why that is, but let's let's go through the... Okay. So if if that's to the left, what do you guys think X minus A was going to do? To the right. Good. To the right, to the right. Right. So this shifts in X direction. Actually, you know what? Fuck this. I can just copy this. To the right. Okay, cool. All right, now we have another another type of shift. Let's say we have is equal to f of x plus a, but the a is now outside of the function. Do people know what this does? Uh. Grim, we've been talking about shifting to the to the left and to the right. Well, what's another way you can shift shift a function? What's another direction? You can shift it the x to up and down. Good, up and down. Good. This will shift it in the y direction up a units, okay? And down a units. Good, very good, very good, Graham, very good. Shift in the y direction down. Down a units. Okay, this is something you should know. You should, you should, you should, um, you should, uh, you should remember this. Grim, do you have a screenshot of this? Okay. Not yet. Okay, take a screenshot because this is this is important. Let me just go full screen. Yeah, whole well, thing's good. Also, like I'll have this on YouTube and whatnot, so you guys can always look at it again. Um, look at it again. Uh, if you have questions. Okay. Do you got it, Grim? Can I go to the next next part? Um, yeah, because this Good. is being. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Tell very close chat. I don't have it yet. Oh man. Oh. Well, here. You know what? Actually, you know, what? I'll just download this and I'll send it to you. It's fine. Okay. Let me just download this. Download this. The current page. I'm gonna call this cheat sheet. And then here's the cool thing. I can literally put this in the. Uh, and I'm gonna tag you in it. Uh, wait, did it did it put it in there? There you go. Okay. Uh, and then one more thing you have to know for functions. Let's say g of x is equal to uh, mm, 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 mm. um, Thank you. a times uh -oh. f of x versus g of x being equal to f of a times x. So this ends up being what's called a vertical stretch. And this becomes a horizontal stretch. Okay? And then there's some weird things here, okay? Um, so if it's negative, it's also a vertical flip. So a vertical... Let's say a vertical reflection. So okay. it'll it'll f it'll flip whether something's like pointing up or pointing down. And here, if it's negative, it's also a horizontal reflection. Okay. And then here's some other things you have to know. Um, uh, if a is greater than 1, it's a stretch. If A is a fraction between 0 and 1, then what it is is it's a compression. It makes it, it, makes it like stubbier is what it does. Here it's the opposite. If A is greater than 1, uh, if A is greater than 1, uh, sorry. A is greater than 1, it's a... Uh, 
it's a horizontal compression. And then if 0 less than A less than 1, it's going to be a stretch. So they're opposites. So you guys will notice that there's, there's kind of all this, this opposite shit, right? See how this is like to the right, to the left. Like right is, sorry, positive is left, negative is right. But then when we do stuff outside of the the f of x, then like positive is now up and negative is now down. It's the same thing here. Um, where depending whether you're multiplying outside of the function or you're multiplying at the x directly will change whether it stretches it vertically or whether it st stretches it horizontally. And also the trend of whether that a is a fraction or whatnot will determine whether it's a stretch or whether it's a compression. And it's flipped for the two of them. So there's like there's kind of like a pattern to things in math. Um, but that's a that's actually a, a pretty in depth topic that can get uh, kind of lengthy at times. Let me see. Let me see if we have any more. Did anybody else ask any more questions, or can I spend some time on this? <laughs> Philip posting some. Oh oh, that's the the lab quest stuff you do. Oh that's cool. Oh. I did not know all that stuff about the functions or whatever. Okay, so here, let me the graphing. Let 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 me let me show an example actually. Gold. What's up, brother? Who's um, asking a question? I redeemed I redeemed for uh, one bond coin. Very and nice. I also asked a question too. Cool. What's your question? You want to answer your question? here? Um, so you ask a question real quick, and then um, it, ah. it's a it's a small question. Yeah, what's your small um, question? What's homeostasis and osmosis? Uh, okay, cool. Thank you. Homeostasis, but it's okay. And osmosis. <laughs> osmosis. Okay, homeostasis uh, is the processes that your body does in order to stay like normal, to stay like at peace, to stay like functioning. Um, so homeostasis is um, like, for instance, your body temperature is a is a homeostasis thing um, because like if it's cold outside, right, your body produces more heat to try and keep your body at a certain temperature um if you're very hot right your body sweats to try and cool your body down um so that's what homeostasis is homeostasis is like um why do we get sick whenever um whenever why do we get hot every time we're sick why do we get hot every time we're sick uh that's a good question actually i i and that's more of like a medical thing. I actually don't know exactly know the answer to that. That's uh, that's like when your body's fighting off the infection. It is your it, white blood cells and stuff. Right. Maintain peace. Yeah. Maintain the peace within your body. That's what homeostasis really does mean, like maintaining the peace. But I think also, uh, I think maybe your body heats up because in order to kill whatever the fuck is like, bu like bugging you, right? You know, like most bacteria and viruses don't survive at, at hotter temperatures. That's why they like have you wash your hands at like with hot hot water or um. Or you know why? Well, well, if you really want to like fight something, it should be hot water. Uh, but homeostasis I mean, is like basically maintaining yes perfect maintaining balance is what homeostasis is maintaining, maintaining balance in your body Correct. body functions good pretty much yes that's what homeostasis is. Uh, I think with the virus thing, I think your body is heating up, and someone can correct me. I'm not the medical expert. I think what it's doing is it's heating your body up to to kill off whatever is inside of you. That's being bad i you know? take a medical class so like <laughs> this is kind of my area my dad's a doctor and my cookie? sister's a doctor i should get them to ask me something to answer some questions but uh how'd you want a cookie if i if i ever got questions maybe you feel alive? Nice hashtag mechanical. Is, yeah. um so yeah that's homeostasis uh osmosis osmosis is uh i think it's the the movement of water is what it is right the movement of water between two membranes between osmosis? between a, a membrane, yeah, osmosis. Isn't that like how cells divide? And good, shit? good. Uh, no, no, no. Os, no. no it's how solvent molecules like move. No, like uh, molecules. cell division is uh, something else. It's something. I didn't osis. take honors bio, so. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I should know this. This is all like the memorization stuff. It's is uh. No, it's it's the diffusion of water between like um. Different types of cells. That's yes, right. yeah, good. So here's an example. And actually, this is cool. So, you know, a lot, a lot of times you, you guys are like, I wish I could learn by osmosis, right? What does that mean to learn by osmosis? I don't even know. You wish you could just, like, throw your head in the book, and then the knowledge would just naturally seep into your brain, right? That's, like, what yes, we... Yes, that's what I wish. How it would make life so Right, easy. Make, okay, so, so water will naturally move from areas of... Um, from areas okay, of... Okay, what a miss. 
water will not. <laughs> we're going over science here, so real quick. So osmosis uh, describes how water will move from areas of um, low concentration to high concentration, which is actually a pretty cool thing. So to let's maintain homeostasis. To maintain Wait, homeostasis. Uh, class is ending pretty soon. I'm just answering some quick questions. Um, uh. Uh, can I join VC? Uh, yeah, initial. Well, here. Um, we're about to end. I'll I'll pull you into the the, the tournament. Um, okay. So let let let's let's say let's say for instance, um, you have uh. Okay, we have a cell, right? Oh. This is a cell, and then this is like the body, okay. And then there's yeah. there's there's water, right? There's water all around, right? And there's water in the cell, okay. Um, let's say that you eat something very salty, okay? Um, and there's already some natural salt, um, in your blood. So in the cells and in the body, okay? Um, let's say you eat something very salty, all right? And then, um, your, your body starts to have a lot of salt, okay? So that means it has a lot more salt particles, right? So what what can we say about the concentration, like the percentage of salt in the body versus the percentage of salt in the cell? Which one has a higher percentage? Five percent. Five percent. No, not an actual number. Which one has a higher percentage of salt? The body, the body blood, or the 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 blood body. inside the cell? The body does, the right? The cell. No, no, no. The blood in the body does because it has a higher concentration because it has more salt per oh. units of water. Okay. So what osmosis says is that because there's more, there's like saltier water out here. Um, the water inside the cell is going to leave to go outside the cell to try and make the um, concentrations the same, right? To try and make the concentration of the body water the, be the same as the cell water. And so what happens is your cells actually shrink when that happens. Um, it's kind of a cool thing. So... As a, as a, as a vice versa, let let's say for instance, uh, you don't eat any salt like forever, and you only have like one salt molecule in your blood, but you have, still have the two salt molecules. In the cell, now where is the water going to move? Is the water going to flow, from, out of the cell into the cell or into the cell to out of the cell? A fifty-fifty guess. <laughs> so what was the question? Okay, so let's say let's say your blood is less mm -hmm. salty than the the liquid inside the cell. Mm -hmm. Where will the water go? Will the water go from the blood into the cell, or from the cell into the blood? Cell into the blood. No, blood into the cell. Blood into the cell. Good. Yeah, blood into the cell. So, what will happen is because there's less of a concentration of salt here but a higher concentration here water is going to flow into the cell to try and make this like equal to the concentration out here and now what you get is you get you get like you get uh like big bigger bigger cells because they have more water in them yeah this is actually a cool thing uh do, do you guys know this this uh, before we end this has to do with do you, do you know why your fingers get like wrinkly right in the bathtub yes Right. I think. Oh, I think I know. I think I know. It's to catch a grip. It's cause what? Something like that. I think. I think it's like to grip onto something so that when your fingers are wet, it's not that slippery and you can grip onto something. I mean, that's that's cool, that's but a myth. that's yeah, but that's not how biology works. So, but it's okay. No, that's a cool idea. I like ideas. Um, the water soaks in with your cells and it becomes wrinkles. Good. Good. You yes. Become the water. Yeah. Wait, wait, that was actually the answer. No, 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 no. It seriously is. Okay. So, so, so here's the reason why, guys. So again, here we have person, right? This is you know happy person, right? Happy person has a lot of. Has a decent amount. You have a decent amount of salt in your body, okay? This is why you guys like drink Gatorade and shit. Like, there's salt in your body. But then let's say, oh, I drink Gatorade at all. That's really bad. let's say you get into a pool of water, right? Which is a bath, right? And this has no salt at all. Or let's say it has like very, like only has like one piece of salt in it, okay? So again, yes, there's a there's a lower concentration of salt in the water than there is in your body. So the water naturally goes to try and create homeostasis. It wants there to be the same concentration in both. So what the water is going to do is it's going to go into your body 
to try and have an equal number of water to salt molecules as there are in the water that you're in. That's what concentration means. Um, like, you guys know, like, when, when like, if, if for instance, if you had Nesquik, right? Did, did any of you guys drink Nesquik, but, like, with the powder? Yeah, me too. Yeah? I do, I do. Yeah, right? You know how, like, your mom would always only do, like, one scoop, and you're like, you know, fuck that. I want, I want more Nesquik, right? Because it tastes better. What's Nesquik? What's Nesquik? It's like chocolate milk or something. Or, like, for instance, powder. you guys ever made, like, drinks with powders, like powdered drinks stuff? No? Yeah. Lemonade. Yeah. I love lemonade. Lemonade. Yeah, good. That's an example of concentration. So concentration is how much powder there is compared to how much water there is, right? So if something has a higher concentration, it means there's more powder to water. Uh, so if like you're in, anything... if you're in a bathtub that doesn't have many po molecules in it, doesn't have much powder in it, doesn't have much salt, that's a low concentration uh, water. Your blood has lots of things in it. It has lots of salt. It has lots of electrolytes. It has lots of other particles in it. So that's a high concentration. It has lots of electronics. Hopefully not. Um, <laughs> but So water always goes from low concentration to high concentration because it wants to balance the concentrations out. So that's why when you go into a tub, your fingers get wrinkly because the water is coming into your fingers and it's causing them to swell. And, like, they, they wrinkle because that's what your, your fingerprints are, right? You guys see how you have, like, ridges in your fingerprints and stuff? That's that's yeah. what causes it. Do you, do you guys – okay, so which which one of you guys – do any of you guys uh, live next to a salt water lake or something or a salt ocean or something? Um, I don't think – no, I don't know. Okay. So here's a, here's a cool thing. If, if you go into the ocean, which is salt water, your fingers don't wrinkle. Yeah, that is true. And the no, reason that's just your fighter sensor. <laughs> no, no. So again, and this has to do with osmosis, guys. The reason why your your fingers don't wrinkle is because the amount of salt in the ocean is equal to the same amount of salt approximately in your body. So water okay. doesn't go into your body. It doesn't your 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 fingers don't absorb the water because you have the same amount of salt, the same concentration of salt in the ocean as you do inside of your blood and in your body. I've been muted for the past seven minutes, and I was saying stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, ah. dude. I'm sorry. It's I just, I, my mic, like, if up and down, it flips up and down, so, like, I can turn it on and off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I okay. had it up, and I didn't realize. Oh, uh, I have one of those, too, when you when you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> okay, but anyways, that's a quick little intro primer. We went a little bit over time, but I always appreciate questions like that. So say some boys on you. We are well. We're doing a Fortnite tournament right now. So oh. one sec. Let me Wait, get. You, I, have, I have a question. I for got another a, hour. I got a good question for next. Yes, good. Hours. That and so here's the thing, guys. So if I didn't get your question right now, don't worry. We're doing it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week. So you guys can show up, ask more questions and whatnot. Um. Because I, I would like to go into more time with stuff like this, but yeah. we're out of time, and I got to... Did you give Patrick his bond coin? I did. Did I Did I not? I, I did. Yeah, did. I gave yeah. it to Patrick. Yeah, Mechanical asked a good Wait. question. Um, I got 10 bond coins. Grim, Wait. I have a question. I think I, I didn't gave get you... mine. Yes, I did. Did I not give it to you? Are you I, I'm going to... So because I, I did do. Do well, the, you all, did the you... bond coins from the Twitch transfer right away? Uh, they will eventually. I, I got I got to work on the code for that, but I, I might have to do that manually. But they they will. Um, actually, Damn, I didn't get I'll, I'll I'll get I, I'll make sure you get yours. Don't worry. Uh, Philip, I don't think I did I give bet. you yours, Philip. You're right, I did. Yeah, I, I redeemed, redeemed two today. Dang, Philip got violated. Oh wait, no, but no, no. I got I got your one for the question. Don't worry, the ones you redeemed, I'll make sure those those get those get processed. Um, cool right, and bet. mechanical. Okay. And so are awesome. Okay, that's office hours. Thank you guys, everyone, for watching, listening. We'll be here tomorrow. Hey, Dr. Um, I have a question. Well, ask me the question. Wait, what time is office hours tomorrow? So I got a game tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's at uh, th uh tomorrow's at three p.m. Uh, three p.m. Pacific, so PSG. five five p.m. your guys' time, six p.m. Eastern. So Tuesday. Uh, frick. Bye, Patrick. See you tomorrow. Tuesdays. I might not make it. All good. We'll have it on Wednesday. We'll have it Thursday. Tuesdays. Tuesday, Thursdays is an hour earlier. Monday, Wednesday is gonna be four o'clock Pacific, six o'clock Central, seven o'clock. Uh, uh, the hour earlier thing messes up because it messes with my like schedule because I want to make it to the office hours, but like I got games on those. Yeah, days, it's so. it's all it's all good. I I have to do the earlier one because the East Coast kids, uh, it's like it's a little too late for me to do it at four o'clock for them because it's seven o'clock their time then, and then a lot of them are having dinner or something. So like that's why I move it earlier it's, for half of them. 
it's seven ten right now and it's almost pitch black yeah right yeah we got to do it while the day's up um but okay, cool. So that that's that's office hours. Um, for you guys uh, that are participating in the Fortnite tournament, please meet me in VC Chat One. Uh, we'll be doing some box fights, um, and uh, you guys can earn some more points and prizes there. Uh, until next time, I will see you guys.